Hello, welcome to Spurred On and welcome to Spurverts Part 2. I'm Reese. this is Craig, you should know that by now. This week we're pretty excited about Nabil Bentaleb's oh, yeah. fashion sense. Uh, he, having been in speculation recently about whether he's going to leave, maybe Liverpool want him, mm. and uh, issues with his contract, he was like not going to sign it, which is probably just his agent trying to get his money up. Yeah. Good lad. Get paid, man. You deserve it. Get paper. That's what I've always said. Bentaleb has now been pictured on holiday on Instagram wearing a Spurs shirt. Yeah, never seen, never seen a Spurs player do this before. Wearing a Spurs shirt on holiday, off season. It's like wearing your work uniform when you're at home. Yeah, which, that's yeah, it's it a bit is. weird. It but is. fair enough. At least he's showing dedication to the cause. But to be fair, to me, it is a really, really nice shirt. It's a nice kit. It is a nice little sash. I suppose it's the new one, isn't it? So he's not really played in it much yet. So maybe yeah. he's excited about the new kit. Yeah. But. Pretty good. To me, that suggests he's going to sign the contract. You know how like actors method act and they get yes. in character. Maybe he's just like method acting with football. You know, he wants to be dressed to the occasion all the time. Yeah, mentally and he stood prepared. Stood there at the airport, not letting anyone get past him. Yeah. So yeah. Just passing his luggage to the baggage handler. Mm. Perfectly. Perfectly. Bentaleb. Inch perfect luggage pass. So Bentaleb, good signs that he's staying. Good lads. Also, Christian Eriksen keeps getting asked by journalists constantly. Oh, are you going to leave because you're oh, too good for Spurs and all this sort of stuff? Yeah. Ericsson keeps saying, no way, I'm happy. I love it there. The atmosphere's amazing. I mean, to be fair, he has got the personality of a window. Yeah, so he has, he, but he, he, he's a good enough player. He, he, stick with us. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we want Ericsson here. Happy. If he's happy, we're, we're happy. happy. But Ericsson, he's not going to leave for a few years anyway, really, is he? Yeah, it? realistically, we'll probably leave in two years' time. Mm. But. For now, at least he's saying, for now, he's happy. Yeah. He's not getting too big for his boots, which good. is good. Unlike some of you other players, I won't mention any names. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Lewis Holtby, have you heard this news? Yes. We officially, having him been on loan for a while, we've officially sold Lewis Holtby Wedge. for oh, 5.1 million. Only signed it for 1.5, never really played for us, played a little bit, was always out on loan. Nice guy, very nice guy. Probably not quite good enough to play for us. Just narrowly avoided relegation with Hamburg. Mm. But Hamburg have now signed him for 5.1 million. Hamburg, you've been levied. Levied. He's done it Daniel again. Daniel Levy is just, he's a pimp. He knows what he's doing. He knows what to do. He knows how to manoeuvre it. This is chess to Levy. He's the ultimate chess player and he's all about the wedge. It's all about the money. Yeah. Uh, which is why Bentaleb, who's also all about the money, is disagreeing with Levy at the moment. Because Are they? Well, Bentaleb wants, Bent, Bent wants loads of money. Yeah. Levy doesn't want to pay any money. That's he the is issue. A bit tight. He is, he is a, a bit tight. Bit, he's a bit tight. Come on, mate. But Spend well done. It. Now you've got that 5.1 million, you can give it all to Bentaleb. Uh, finally, fixtures being announced pretty soon. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. Always excited to see the fixtures list. See when we're playing Arsenal, see when we're playing Chelsea, see what we've got last game of the season so that mm. we can see whether or not we're getting that Champions League spot. Always interesting. Excited about the fixtures. Um, hopefully, uh, we play Arsenal this side of the year. Yes. At the beginning, rather, because we always play them in like November. We play them first. And they're and then, always rubbish at the start. Yeah. They always start rubbish. Yeah. So I, I, I want to see a bit of, I just want to see it spruced up a bit. It's always, it's very predictable, the fixtures. Yeah. I'll tell you what will be Spursy. What? Is, as always, we'll be away first game of the season. Ugh. Probably be away last game of the season. Yeah. I'll tell you who'll be at home both of those games. Arsenal. Woolwich. Yeah. It always happens, Well, they won't it? be at home because their home is Woolwich. They'll be at our home. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's the fixtures. We're excited to see that. We're excited about Holtby and we're excited about Bentaleb and Ericsson. This has been Spurverts. Make sure you like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Hi guys, it's Barnaby Slater here once again for Spurred on TV. I am in the Olive Groves of Italia. Mamma mia, 